How's it going, Catherine? Uh, I just got back from work. Joel is here with me. Hi, Catherine. <laughs> He's here to help uh, with this newest blog venture. So, in response to your question, um, what is my pet peeve? This one, uh, not a lot of people know this about me. Joel didn't even know. Um, but the one thing I cannot stand on anybody is feet. I... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I remember this a little bit. I hate feet. Ugliest part of the human body, by far. That includes the no-no zone um, in between the legs for both boys and girls. Feet, ugliest part of the human body. I don't want them touching me. I don't like other people touching my feet. Foot massage? No. No, that's gross. That's, they look like ugly, retarded hands that, like... God gave up on it. It's like, hey, I'm making a hand. You know what? This is boring. I'll make it into a long cylindrical shape and flatten the toes. No. It's just feet are gross. Keep socks on them and shoes on them at all times. I don't need them touching me. I don't need to see them. And as far as, like, toe rings, hey. That, that's no, there's no excuse for that. There's that's no just, excuse for toe rings at all. And complete fantasy. Is what painting is. your toenails, that's. Your toes are not that cute. Uh, whatever. Joel, do you have a pet peeve? Um, it changes every once in a while. <laughs> right. So what is, at the moment, what is your biggest pet peeve? At the moment, people who stereotype and judge you before they know you. What a deep answer. Yes. Kind of like people, wait, no, 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 that doesn't even apply. I was going to say something, but it didn't apply. Okay. okay, so there's my answer, uh, feet. I hate feet. I don't think you told us what your pet peeve was, and I'm pretty sure that's part of the rules. You didn't. You didn't. So, when you ask a question... Excuse me, I almost burped just now. Um, that's part of the rules. If we have whoop, rules, um, that you need to answer your own question when asking a question. So we have answered your question. Now in your next response, oh my god. Are you okay? I didn't even have pop today. I'm burping like crazy. Maybe you're reacting to not having pop. Maybe the first time. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Respond to your own question while you ask it, and then we will respond and ask a new question. So, Joel, what is our question for Catherine? I didn't think about this beforehand. Neither did I. Um, <laughs> that's um, a good question. Um, hmm. Is light a wave or a particle? What? Is light a wave or a particle? That's a terrible question. I don't, I don't even know, know the. I don't even know an answer for that. Well, nobody does. That's the point. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. No, we gotta have a good question for Catherine. Hmm. Hmm. Something about life. Not, not something inconsequential. What do you mean inconsequential? Like, if you happen to be stranded on a desert island, which happens to so many people, what would you bring? I think there's people. Oh, someone's coming oh, into my yeah. house. Hold on, Catherine, we'll have another visitor. Hey, Catherine, Steve's here too. Hey. Steve, um, tell us what is your pet peeve? Uh, Biggest pet peeve. I know what it used to be. <laughs> it used to be people playing no. your. Game consoles without washing their hands. First. Yes. Yeah. Now it's just people yes. who go to the bathroom and don't wash their hands. That's that is no, a pretty good review. Come on. Really <laughs> that is terrible. That's legit, Joel. That's legit. His that is Joel's so was people who stereotype before they get to know somebody. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It happens to me all yeah. the time. People just like from he's Iowa. Dutch. He lives in a cornfield. <laughs> that one's great. I have a friend from Idaho. I always ask if uh, they live in a museum. What kind of museum? <laughs> no, but, and then mine was speed, and Logan's was barnacles on ships. Please, can we keep the ships clean? That's all. <laughs> that legit. That legit. It is. That's, yeah, that's, that's a serious clean. problem facing sailors clean. every day. Facing sailors. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. challenging. Okay, did you guys come up with a question for Catherine? No, I'm still thinking about it. We, no, we gotta ask Catherine a question in response. So, what would be good? <coughs> Just stare at the camera. <coughs> is, uh, Excuse me. What's a good question? <laughs> is the spread of communications technology so you can talk to anyone anywhere in the world for no no trouble at all? Is that a good thing? Can we generalize? Is globalization say, can, a good thing, Catherine? Hey, hey, <laughs> yes, we're a part of this. Yes, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. Here, you gotta let's. Uh, can we like generalize that and just say? Sure. What do you think about the war on Logan. malaria? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Technology advances in technology, mm -hmm. good or bad? Good or bad. Can we ask her a question about, like, I don't know, the, the yeah, Kansas Canada. City Wizards owner buying Arsenal? What? Did you hear that? He when? Did, what? Yeah, he just bought Those are Arsenal. soccer teams, I think. Oh, is he American? American? People, no, people are Wait, is he American? Yeah. Is he American? Yeah, and we just struck, we just struck a deal with FC Barcelona. 
They'll play me, six to twelve games in America as long as we promote them. Is <laughs> the guy who owns Kansas City whatever Wizards? Wizards, yeah. Isn't there a basketball team? No. Washington Wizards. Washington. It's who? Yeah, it is, yeah. But, no, is he American or is he a European he, guy? Who owns no, teams? he's USA. He's a tycoon. He just bought out Arsenal. <laughs> and finally, yes. Yeah. Finally, Some the Arsenal. Day. No, that's the question. We know that's the question. We own three of the four top clubs. And really? Yeah. 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 Manchester United and Liverpool. Oh, it's right. The uh, New York Red Bulls own Manu, don't they? Uh, no. It's, it's, it's about Manu. time, Catherine. Okay, so here's the same thing. Here's the same thing. Buccaneers and Tampa Bay. Okay, no, here's the, guys, here's the question. Will the U.S. ever embrace soccer as a real sport? Oh. I don't see it happening. No, no, Catherine, never. Catherine, they won't. Go to MSN.com <laughs> and look up any sports article that happened in this past week that's soccer related. And I guarantee you, it. I hate these. Okay, the, all the blog posts for that, for that uh, article or whatever, they all say something like <laughs> soccer is played by grass parents. What? Like it always, no, it always goes to that. Like people posting, they're like, who cares? Grass parents. People Evidence. just don't understand. So that's Steve's response. Honestly, I agree with Steve. I don't think it'll ever be embraced, but it should. Joel, I know you're not a big soccer fan. But I don't think it'll ever be embraced here. You know what? I'm going to be contradictory. You're going to play and devil's advocate, Yeah, Ryan? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to say someday... Put your finger in my face. <laughs> I'm going to say someday we win the World Cup. Within oh, the next, no, within see, the next hey, 20 hey, years. Hey, that's not what we're asking. I'm we're saying next 20 totally years. We're not, no, next we're not 20 asking years. Logan. And then, Logan! Just a second, second. And when and it then, happens... Then when it happens, <laughs> when it happens uh, soccer will be turned to football and it will just... It you won't just be a Proliferate. It'll, it'll just be awesome. That's great. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> Logan, we're not asking for your dreams. We're asking... Uh, what? Life. What? 20 years is a long time. Use right, the restroom. So gotta... And wash your hands, please. Oh, Supposedly, by 2012, the world's going to end, Logan. That's true. My end calendar yeah. says in 2012, the world's yes. going to end. What do you say to that? That's No, that's not that question. The question is, will the U.S. ever embrace yeah. soccer... As a real sport, that's three no's, one yes. Yes, I got the yes. I, I would love to see it happen. I just, I, I like don't. The delay. Realistically, what I don't see it happening. There is a delay. Say, yeah. Okay, I know there's a delay. <laughs> Get over it. I just think it's funny. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, for me and Logan and Joel and Steve, can you hear us, Steve? Steve, Steve can you hear us? Here. This is a really long video. Steve. Sorry, Catherine. I'm sorry I has to be so long. Steve. Uh, you know, he's not going to answer. Some people have a problem with uh, talking and peeing at the same time. Joel, get in the camera. You know, Catherine, so, uh, I saw uh, your so sister play in the band tonight. A fabulous job. It was really, you know, great show, great concert. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> it was really good. So the golden age of the MC band is not over. No, no, no. It has just begun. How about the golden age of the MC jazz band? Uh, it's turned a new page here. As in, in a good way or uh, in in a new chapter into marching band. That's what's happening. It's more like oh. the epilogue, and then it's finished, and this is just kind of wrapping it up. That is really sad. Yeah. It is okay. Well, this video is long enough. So for all of us here, um, talk to you later. Don't forget to answer. <laughs> don't forget to answer your own questions uh, uh, before yeah. I have a chance to answer them. It's breaking the rules. We'll come up with punishment later. So, what's that? Steve says goodbye. Apparently, he doesn't. From the rest he just doesn't wow, talk that's now. a long range goodbye. Long range. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later.